Welcome back, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and this is an update to the Pure Polish uh, polishing series. Uh, you can see this pair here has a little bit that has not dried out yet, uh, because I had to be so aggressive when uh, cleaning it. I have put um, uh, water-resistant cream on the two brown ones, except for that area, and then uh, water-resistant cream in light brown on the others, so that I have that. Now, uh, one thing that you'll note is in the broguing, there are some uh, white spots. And so I'm using a pen brush to get in there and actually get the polish out of those areas because that is uh, a challenge that you need to do um, when, you're, uh, when you're doing a good polish uh, to brogues. So you gotta make sure that you get that out. And it's not, uh, it's always good after the cream polish uh, because after that, you're going to start applying, you know, the wax and stuff with uh, a little bit more care uh, in order to be able to do that. So I've got, uh, you know, it, it's not a problem on larger brogues as much as it is on the small ones, especially in medallions. So, and again, it's it's not something that I do all the time. I only do it uh, maybe once a year or so. So not a uh, big deal. But you can see, um, you know, here is where the... Uh, the gouge was, and it's barely visible anymore now that it's covered in polish. Um, here, the blemish is pretty well covered. And here, the cut, uh, pretty well covered as well. Now, obviously, um, I've taken a lot of the burnish off of this one, and it is a lot lighter, um, but I do need to uh, spend some time with the multiple of waxes there in order to uh, clean it up. So that is the pure polish and how that is going for part two.